The Chinese numeral system's history consists of four main systems. The Shang Dynasty number system, the Rock number system, and the Sucho number system. And finally, the modern number system which we know today. So how it all began? In 1899, there was a major discovery at the archaeological site at Shaodun village in the Anyang district of Henan province. The bones and total shells were used for religious ceremonies and also information about men lost and prisoners taken in battle, the number of animals hunted and also the numbers of days or months. So the Shang number system. The Shang number system were used from the 14th century BC. Since there is, exists a symbol for each number, it is non-positional and has no need for zeros. So, how does these symbols get chosen? There are two theories on how these symbols originated. One suggests that the symbols are phonetic, while another theory suggests that they are of religious significance. For example, the number 9 looks like a fish hook. Then perhaps the sound of the word for 9 in ancient Chinese was close to the sound of the word for fish hook. So now the rod number. The rod number systems began in the 4th century BC when the counting boards were used. So how do we use this system? The most significant property of the rod number system was its natural place value. The rightmost column represented units and the one to its left represented tens and so on. Zeros were represented by blanks, hence there was no use of it. It can be confusing which is why we alternate the numbers. Units will use the top row and tens the bottom or vice versa. The Sucho number. The Sucho numeral system is a fusion of the rod numeral systems which incorporated the number zero. They were a positional system used as a form of shorthand in bookkeeping and accounting and were popular in markets particularly in Hong Kong until the 1990s when they are replaced by the modern numeral. So this is what the modern Chinese numbers are represented nowadays. It is used for basically almost everything. 